Uh, so welcome, Lindsay. Um, we've never actually had a street or urban photographer on the show before. Uh, so can you explain to those listening what exactly uh, is a street photograph in your own terms? Sure. Uh, first off, thanks for having me, guys. Uh, good to be with you, Henry and Ryan. Um, as far as my work goes, yes, I do. I started off doing a lot more street photography uh, when, when I started learning uh, about the camera and, and sort of photography in general. Um, but I did, you know, try other things, but uh, that sort of piqued my interest. And really what it's about is walking around um, your neighborhood or, you know, a city area. It doesn't necessarily have to be those things, but that's where I found myself at, uh, walking around, taking candid photos of, uh, of people uh, doing, going about their business and, and trying to show them in a, in a sort of, a, for my way uh, a, a very artistic very sort of kind of stylized way which is um you know when i started it was a lot of black and white high sort of sort of a high contrast black and white not all of it um but yeah just you know walking around uh, downtown la and getting to know my city a little more and and learning my cameras at the same time so uh that's sort of how it, it all got started for me Awesome. Yeah. Um, so where are you actually based um, and kind of where did you start out with that? Sure. I'm in, uh, in the L.A. area. I'm just about uh, 20 minutes north of downtown L.A. in, in a city called Glendale. And, uh, you know, it doesn't take that long to get there, you know, depending on traffic. But uh, uh, once I'm there, it's, it's good. You know, we have sunshine all year round, almost. You know, we had a couple of uh, cloudy and rainy days but i mean right now it's getting I mean, the other day in the valley it was about 90 degrees already um it's about 75 to 80 today but uh yeah i mean i, I started off uh with uh you know point and shoot camera this is back in like 2009 2010 ish around that time and then you know got into sort of the gear reviews and trying to figure out what cameras are good to use. Obviously a lot of people were going, Hey, you know, there's, there's Leica and, and, you know, the, and of course the ones I'm, that I was more familiar with were, you know, Canon and Nikon. And so I started looking at reviews on those and picked up a, a D90 to begin with, with a kit lens. And then after that, it was just seeing reviews about bokeh and, <laughs> You know, a lot, so I started getting into lenses that were uh, pretty fast, so, you know, 1.4s and 1.8s, things like that, and uh, walking around downtown and just kind of figuring it out, uh, what exposure was and and how each of the focal lengths that I had, um, how it saw and how it photographed things, and uh, slowly just uh, found street photography. Uh, looked it up, and there wasn't really a lot back then um, with regards to street photography. As far as like uh, people who blogged about it, people who talked about it, um, not even like certain websites that taught, um, you know, sort of general photography or, or um, you know, like photography type school school um, websites. Maybe there'd be a little blurb about it, but that would be it. And so um, throughout the years, met a lot of people uh, who also was really into street photography and it's it's sort of a specific thing you know it's a specific genre not probably suitable for everybody i think everybody could do it but uh you know some people just it's not their thing and i totally get that um you know i had friends that were doing landscape photography i had friends that were doing you know dog photography and you know things like that like earlier on this is before i got into the whole community of street photographers and started meeting way more people that were also into other genres but yeah earlier on it was just like you know they didn't get kind of what i was doing because it was it was a little odd like going around taking pictures of people you don't know right mm -hmm. it is kind of a weird thing yeah uh, it's voyeuristic and i guess in a way and 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 it is odd but, you know, if you look back at some of the great masters, right, the classic masters of photography, uh, uh, Roy de Carava and, and uh, 
some of the guys like Elliot Erwitt and stuff like that, where they just walked around and, and documented the things around them in the way that they saw it. And we're looking at the pictures now. And we're going, oh, wow, that's a, a good representation of what it was like, you know, in the 40s and the 50s and the 60s and the 70s of just average normal people walking around doing their daily thing versus very stylized, um, almost, you know, prepped and, and, and very um, purposefully done photos uh, of things of that of those times right it's it's sort of a different uh part of society it's a, a different class systems and things like that that um that we're seeing uh, depending on who's taking the pictures and so when i got into it i i was very much influenced by the the black and white photography um, and thought well I w i'll start in black and white and then i'll work my way into color kind of just how <laughs> history you know went with black and white and then going into color film and so, yeah, I, I focused my time uh, just, you know, doing black and white photography for just about a year. Um, literally just took black and white photos, got got my eyes used to seeing in black and white. Um, actually asked one of my mentors during like before I even took that year to just focus on that. Um, how I could see better in black and white or just how do I see in black and white? And uh, I was like, do I do I wear a specific pair of glasses? Like, what can I do? <laughs> and uh, he was like, just focus on the light. And it sort of struck me, um, you know, like blew my mind almost. Just how this, the, you know, just how simple the concept was, but also just like, wow, okay, that's all I need to do. And so that's what I did. Just focused on light, and light became a very important part of uh, my photography. Um, my learning of photography, the style of photography that I that I like and, and gravitate towards, and it's um it's helped me uh, with my professional photography as well. You know, with weddings and events and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. Just you know, making sure that my images uh, have that sort of um, aspect in it, right? Because it it creates depth, it creates emotion, it can. Um, just adds so much more to the to the image. I mean, we can't have photography without light, anyways, and so it's just might as well figure out how to use it and how to how to enhance my photos using uh, using light. And and you know, I, I talk to a lot of landscape photographers as well and wildlife photographers, and and that's why we do what golden hour, right? Golden hours both in the morning and in the evening. Mm -hmm. um, it's just really super <laughs> really nice light so you know at the same time with portrait photographers and you know especially if you're using more available light or natural light uh, however you, know, you want to say that um, it's uh it's really nice light so you mm -hmm. know that's kind of what I focused on and, and my street photography style grew from that and uh, starts you know uh, folks start seeing my work and featuring me on their blogs and and um, uh, podcasts and things like that earlier on and that that helped me to become known for my photography and you know just sort of meeting more people in the community i mean i know people now you know and i've become friends with them as well right it was just like started off on Flickr and then instagram <laughs> And then we're talking, you know, they're like, hey, I'm in L.A., let's let's meet up. And, and so we're shooting street together. I'm, I'm, you know, if I'm in another city, I'm, I'm you know, hitting up folks and saying, hey, or they're saying, hey, come, we'll, we'll, we'll show you around. So it's been a great uh, experience getting into photography, getting into street photography. And there's a lot of, again, like I said, there's other like people who are doing street photography, but they're also, you know, landscape photographers, uh, uh, wedding photographers, portrait photographers, fashion photographers. So early on, I got to meet all these people and get, get an insight to what they did. Because they'd be like, hey, come and, come and check it out. You know, like be my assistant for a day or, you know, just hang out and, and watch. And so that was a really good um, experience for me to, to meet all those people. Very insightful, very, um, very helpful in sort of, figuring out what I wanted to do with photography because as much as I love doing street photography you know there's an aspect of it 
um, especially at that time coming from, you know, I did graphics for a living and, uh, you know, once I got laid off from that work, I was like, okay, like, what do I do now? And photography was just a good medium to learn and to sort of create art with. And then, um, yeah, so I was like, okay, so how do I, how do I make money doing this and uh, assisting folks doing weddings and events like that? I was like, okay, I, I could get into this. I can learn this. And, um, you know, slowly over time, I got, I got better and not just using available light, but, you know, using strobes and, and you know, soft boxes and just, I love photography. So I wanted to, to learn um, about that, that, that part of it as well. And, and, and uh, meet, um, you know, meeting more people and learning more uh, from them as well. 